How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be bringing you guys with another episode of the Alphabet and the 92 and it's actually two weeks consecutively I'm bringing you guys with an episode of this series. Last time I went to Nottingham Forest and it did not end very well. It ended nil nil and if you haven't watched that link will be down in the description to do so. But also with a link in the description and the first thing in the description is one football. If you have not already downloaded one football then I'm not sure what you kind of do with your lives because you've got to download one football for all your live scores, updates, transfer news, absolutely everything you want regarding your club you're going to get on that app. So make sure you download it, link will be down in the description, download one football happy days. If you don't know how this series works, we get a hat and we pick out a letter and that letter will obviously have the teams from the 92. We put it on a wheel and whatever the wheel decides, we go to. Simple enough, leave a like, subscribe and let's see what team we are going to be seeing in this video. So we've got a hat of all the letters in, we've got to decide which one we've got to do. Liam, how are we doing? Pick one please. We've got... Oh, go. We got Gur. So I don't actually know what ones it involves, but I know there's Grimsby, there's Gillingham. Any more else with G? Grimsby. I said that. <laughs> Grimsby, Gillingham. That's the only two. It's either going to be Gillingham or Grimsby. Let's spin the wheel and see what one we get. So Grimsby or Gillingham, what one will we be seeing today? It's the G's, but it's the two. Grimsby, Gillingham. Let's see who we get out of the two if it decides to focus. Gillingham. Oh, Gillingham. Now, I must admit, Gillingham, I'm not sure what fixtures they've got, but we'll obviously find a game and we'll do it. Obviously, last time out, we were at Nottingham Forest and it was a nil-nil. So, I've been looking on the fixture list and I've been looking at it for the three weekends. I'm free to obviously go to a game too. And Gillingham versus Wimbledon on the 29th of February rings a bell. So, I've booked my match ticket and I've booked my transport and I can confirm that my ticket costs £7. And to be honest, that's not a bad price at all. For £7 for a League One game, I'm going to give it to them. Fair play, Gillingham. Great pricing and my transport for this fixture actually comes to a total of 26 pounds 65p and to be fair for transport from where i live it's not too bad at all we're going from lower soft to kent and to be fair pricing on transport is not bad whatsoever if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already all you new gillingham wimbledon fans i'm sure there's a lot of viewers going to watch this video so make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and without further ado let's get down to the gillingham stadium and let's hope gillingham get the all important three points Come on, the boys. Right, I have made it to Gillingham. Currently, right now, Brighton are playing Palace and it's nil nil. And I'm shitting it. And what I will say is. There's, I'll tell you what, I've been here two seconds and there's a lot of police. I don't think this fixture has anything on the cards of a bit of history and in, in rivalry at all. However, one stat I will say for this game is Gillingham have not lost since November. November 22nd is the last time Gillingham lost and that's actually to Wimbledon away. Uh, since then, they've been drawing, they've been winning and their last actual loss was against West Ham in the Cup. So Gillingham, I would know, not know about this record whatsoever, they're unbeaten. Until that date. One thing I can say about Gillingham already is that it's cold. Other than that, I need food. Ignore the hair, it's so windy, but... <sighs> do you know what? One thing I can't ignore is the Brighton score, because we're losing 1-0. Fucking classic Brighton, that is. Dominate the whole game, but the shit house Palace, like, like, that's what they do, that's what they've done all season. They just shit house the fucking win out of us. It's in the 86th minute, I can't see Brighton scoring now. The confidence is absolutely shot from the roof and I think Brighton are going down and I've said it months ago actually, I said it months ago that Brighton are, I think could get relegated and to be honest, performances like that but the fact we can't score any goals, it's gonna show now. I'll tell you what, not bad, £4.50. Right, if I was to be honest, the burger I've had, the cheese and bacon burger I just had, um, it wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, so I've got, I'm going to say it's a solid 7 I had the taste of the bacon and the cheese and the burger, it was very good, to be fair, to be fair, it's alright. 7 out of 10 for Gillingham's cheese and bacon burger, it is. Proud sponsor of Gillingham Football Club. Right, we're here, and I don't know what to expect, I really don't know what to expect at all. So that's a good sign, to be, to be fair, I've got no expectations. There are many things I question in life. For this one. Here come the teams of Gillingham and Wimbledon. You got the Wimbledon fans over there. To be fair, for them, for the size of their club, not too bad of a turnout. Stadium wise though, not bad. The stadium is not that bad at all. I think this atmosphere is going to be really, really good to be fair. There's potential. So, stadium wise, I'm going to race it 
Yeah. Anyway, it's exciting. Just the fact that the main, that the stand over there is a bit temporary and all of that. I feel like Gillingham, six out of ten for stadium. Early chance. Ooh. It's overhead. Wow. I've not seen that before. That is. I'm just more guarded about that fight a lot. I'm generally lost the words that we lost that game. I don't know. I don't know how. Second off to Starner is a free kick already. Dane position. Goal down this end. This is what I like about this, this stadium actually. Oh! Being kicked out over uh, Meanwhile, if we get a 90th minute winner. Gillingham's unbeaten streak has ended and it's pretty my luck. The last time Gillingham lost was against Wimbledon. Today they play Wimbledon. 
for the home fixture for Gillingham and they lost. Full time, the 90th minute from Wimbledon, got them the three points and that's going to be it for the video guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. <sighs> Atmosphere, I've got to rate. I'm going to say a 5 out of 10, it was kind of bang average and then towards the end it was really really good. So I'm going to say a 5 out of 10. I'm out of breath, my cardio is awful. See you guys in another video. Goodbye guys.